Hello, Tim here, and welcome to another fortress in Dwarf Fortress. Cheers, everyone. Let's begin building the third fortress into this same world. And the second, second one for this once dead civilization that only had one site when we started building wood fights with the previous one. And uh, so we are gonna do. Uh, wait a minute, this always confuses me. Start a new game in existing world. Uh, two forts, it shows in the destined realms. We are in the year 135. Uh, we started in the year 100 building the beer beers. And then in the year 117, we started building wood fight. The, now the capital for the civilization we will choose for this third fort. Uh, at the moment I'm recording this, uh, this is the Dwarf Fortress version 50.07, uh, two months into the Steam release. Uh, I just checked Steam there, I have about 400 hours in two months, so I'm, I'm pretty obsessed about this game at the moment, and have been. Uh, to a degree for the past 15 years, I've been playing Dwarf Fortress for a long time, and... Uh, while Dwarf Fortress is flawed, Steam version at the moment I'm recording is flawed. There's a lot of bugs, weird things. I, I just love this game. It is it is amazing. And uh, I'm really liking this thing that we are doing at the moment. Uh, rebuilding the civilization that once had zero sites. And it now, now is uh, somewhat established as we build its a new capital. Uh, up here in the, in the northwest corner. So if we choose the origin civilization, we see that uh, the um, turquoise of clouds that I built their capital, Pia Piers, for uh, have grown from, I think this was 2600 when I started building. Uh, we see actually that the necromancer queen is still there. She has not died in the last 18 years. She will not die of old age, as she is uh, immortal, but she might die otherwise. But looks like she is still ruling the tur turquoise of clouds. So as we continue building our uh, once dead civilization with... Uh, wow, why is there 12 sites? Wow, wow. Okay, so we built, we built wood fights. Wait, we, we we started with one dwarf, the king, and our seven, with eight dwarves, and we are now twelve hundred dwarves strong after eighteen years, as we build wood fight and we captured these two pits. And what else has the civilization done? Oh they have they have already taken back the old mountain home. Wow! Oh, this is fantastic! They are fighting back! Okay, for, from role-playing point of view, I will say that this is because of us. We built the weapons, we, we gave them... Well, we actually only gave them food and some crafts, but let's pretend we actually gave them weapons to start fighting back on the goblins. This is awesome. So, what I was talking about in the previous one, I maybe it was even showing on the on the tool tip that uh, our final goal, not for this fort, but for the civilization, would be to go and reclaim the original mountain home. Uh, I think it's Granite Girdle or something like that. But looks like they have already taken it back. And they have taken... They have taken eight sides from the goblins down here. This is awesome. Okay, but I think... I think I will let them continue fighting down there. And uh, we will... We will continue our war up here in the north uh, against these goblins here. So we have wood fight there, we have a couple of the pits we captured, and all of these have dwarves. Uh, from from our previous fort, so we'll see how that goes. I think. Um, let me see. Okay, this uh, this one 
one dwarven civilization has survived. They have lost some of their holdings to the goblins, but they were at one site and about 30-40 population at year 100. So they have been fighting on, that's cool. Uh, this one is pretty much the same as before, and as said, we had this has grown with about 1000 dwarves. I don't remember the number of sites in the year 100. But this is one, one really cool aspect about Dwarf Fortress, that you can build stuff into the same world. Somewhere in the future, when the adventure mode gets added back in to the, to the premium slash Steam version, you can also go into adventures in the same world. Uh, in, in, the, in your same world. Uh, hopefully, the game stays compatible, so if nothing else, we could at least visit this world with, in the adventure mode somewhere in the distant future, when uh, when it happens in the game world and distant future for me at the moment uh, in the real world. But uh, let's go with this virtual seals as said. And let's see, let's see, let's see. I was thinking not necessarily look for the, say, optimal starting position this time, but uh, build a fortress into this mountain range here kind of because that's where that's where the dwarves settle in the world generation they always settle on mountains elves set on on forests humans set on plains goblins set on set on i think like swamps and scrubland and and badlands and things like that but we're gonna be like dwarves and settle on this uh, mountain range um my idea with this fortress is that we will build it down, so this will be a deep fort. We will go as soon as possible. I will not like immediately dig down, but we will go go down to the magma sea. I see some scorching areas there. Those are those are tough. Those are really tough because you might actually burst into flames, <laughs> flames almost in the in the surface. So I think hot will be what I what I take. Uh, we don't really care about uh, trees and such on the surface, so I'm not gonna mind about those either. And I think all my previous forts, I've looked for that good starting location. I have looked at the uh, uh, top right corner, see that made sure that we have some iron, we have some flux. That's kind of what I, I have been looking for, heavily forested or at least some trees. Uh, thick or at least some quite thick vegetation and something else than untamed wilds even that we ended up building on untamed wilds here but this time i actually don't care about uh, iron necessarily uh, also i have built all these previous forts in an area with light aquifer so i think i will take one without this time and then um so I think maybe maybe something like this, that we have gold, silver, copper, lead, we still have flux. So when we get iron from, for example, goblins or cavern dwellers, we can still make steel. We can still make steel. I'm interested to see if I build here, would we get the human and elves uh, visiting us because we only have the goblins here. Uh, about the day's travel, it says. Uh, I do like the tropical savanna. It can provide some interesting, interesting creatures and dangers to us. Uh, let's go, let's go and look in more detail. Uh, I said I don't really care about the soil either. We have a river here. Let's look at the elevation. Look at the elevation. We'll probably have like. Um, I haven't had a waterfall, but on the other hand, if you're gonna go deep, does it really matter? Doesn't really matter, does it? It really doesn't. The only thing I'm thinking that would I go to the other side, or will I be, would I build it on this side, kind of close to these ones? Maybe... I also haven't had a river. Uh, we've only been using brooks. Uh, we have the tropical savanna here. 
I think this could be this could be an interesting like tropical savanna slash mountain. Let's go there. And I was actually enjoying the three by three. Three by three we had previously. So maybe I would take it something like hmm. Actually, thinking that this corner here could be, we have like the river down, down south and we have the mountains. Uh, trees are sparse, vegetation is moderate, but then of course in the mountains we have, uh, even, the far, even in the mountain it says that the other, other vegetation is moderate, that's interesting. The only thing, only thing I'm thinking about, do I... I care about the untamed wilds. On the other hand, we will be mostly we will be mostly going down, so I think this is fine. Let's uh, let's just build it here. Yeah, let's take the let's take the stream. I think that's my that's my location. Uh, actually, no, wait. Wildlife might be very dangerous here. Um, just making sure we have no aquifer here. Yeah, uh, at least at least it doesn't show that we have uh, we have one. So let's uh, let's embark there. Uh, are you going to try continue taming elephants for the civilization? Uh, depends if we if we get some. Depends if what we what animals we see here. But definitely definitely if if possible. However, this will be a little bit different as we are not going to spend that much time on the surface. I might even lock it down for for most of the time. But uh, let's do just a standard prepare carefully here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's adjust these a little bit. I've I've explained these into high detail in the in the previous forts. So if you want to have a kind of explanation why I pick certain things, those will be a good good place to no, not access. Uh, I always take at least three picks, sometimes four, especially when, when we are going going down. Uh, I'm gonna mainly be farming in the beginning plump helmets and pigtails. Um, we will do some gathering in the caverns if possible, but uh, uh, securing the caverns is a little bit different than uh, securing the securing the surface. So we'll see how how that goes. Uh, with the drinks, I, 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 it just doesn't wrap to my head why this is not in any order. <laughs> why, is the, why is this not like alphabetical or something? It's it's so weird. Um, okay, so we are missing we are missing beer. Okay, there we go. Let's take plenty of drinks, so we don't need to worry about worry about uh, drinks in the beginning. So we'll take like one hundred and thirty. 120 even, and I will limit the population in the beginning probably to like 20, then we'll increase it to 30, and we'll see how it goes from there. I don't want this to grow too fast. Uh, as I have explained many times, you can really uh, power play the Embark if you want. For example, if you take... Um, if you take all the foods that cost two points, like one by one, like this, you will get extra barrel with each of these. Uh, same thing if you go go and take uh, sand. If you take all these packs, these depend on, on your civilization. These will be extra packs as well. Uh, actually, with sand, it doesn't even need to be different. Each of these is a free pack with sand as well that you can then use for uh, for class as well. Uh, so things like that you can really, really do, especially now with uh, Steam version when the dwarf skills don't cost points separately. You just use the points in items and animals. You can get some really powerful, like, lot of stuff with you. But all in all, the Embark, you need to think about where you are embarking. I also leave the wheelbarrows, things like this. We are going to build the splints and crutches so I don't need them. Uh, I don't need the buckets, uh, I will not need the quivers, we will keep the ropes, because just in case. We'll take a couple of bags, but not that many. We will keep the thread, and we will actually take... 
once again this is a little bit let's take uh, let's take some silk thread here that we can either use as a thread in the hospital or turn into cloth and and we will also like really why <laughs> why why is this not in any kind of water um i will take free cloth uh of each uh yarn uh this doesn't matter let's take three of those and i will also take free free yarn from here so let's take lama so for strange moods i want to have wool cloth silk cloth and normal clothes and i will not use this if possible for anything else uh, also silk cloth and yarn cloth is cheaper than the normal one but uh, i want to have these for uh whereas and i'm also taking some thread just in case those actually go into use in hospital uh then what else we are we are going in an area with uh, with not that many trees so I think for this one I do want to get some uh, some trees with us. I usually just go with uh, if if you have options, uh, you might want to look in the wiki and take the lightest wood available, like willow from the surface trees, if you have them. But usually it's only selection from these uh, from these underground trees for dwarven civilizations. And uh, from these, I, I just pick something. But let's take 30 logs, because uh, I'm not going to spend that much time chopping trees in the surface. Also, we are, we are going to take a couple of axes anyway. And uh, while others are digging down into the magma sea, we have time to do some some things. But we don't know how how dangerous the surface is. So I want to, uh, want to keep that in mind as well. The, the points here are so plentiful. That um, I don't really know, really know what to what to do with them, so let's take um, let's take some meat as well, so we don't have to worry about those. And then plump helmets is great because that's both food and um, both food and drinks, uh, at least uh, potentially. Um, let's see. Last time I did pick up uh, armor. Armor, just in case, so that might work here as well. One option would be to make sure they have mux in the beginning, so you don't have to worry about that, building them immediately. Although that is the first thing you can also craft if you like. But uh, I think I will take some mux with me. I think even two would be enough. Just to make sure that they have mux immediately when they want to drink for the first time, so they don't get unhappy thoughts for not having one. Hopefully we are fast enough to actually build... Uh, uh, place for them to have the drink in, and when they are gonna eat, uh, have them uh, give them a dining hall right from the beginning. But just in case I forget and uh, we don't have to focus on it, let's take a couple of mugs. And then we have about 50 food plus the plump helmet, so almost 90, 120 drinks. Uh, 304 picks. I think I will actually go with free this time. Although the fourth pick might come in use later if we uh so that we don't have to smell it later. Uh, anvil I always take because uh you just want to probably make something out of metal anyway. So let's see with these points. Do I take animals? Uh I don't think I will take a I will not take like farm animals, but we will take cats and dogs. So let's take one male cat and two females, and same thing with uh, with the dogs. Yeah, let's do that. And um, let's see uh, how much did the armor cost in total. So we are two hundred and fifty three at the moment. So let's take a copper mail shirt. Let's take Copper Helm. Let's take uh, Gauntlets. And I think you need two of these. When you are making Gauntlets, I think you only need... Uh, only need two. You always get two when you make one with order. But I think these count as one. I'm actually not sure. I'm still not sure. I forgot to check that last time. Uh, our civilization only has low boots. 
So uh, let's take those. And with low boots, uh, it is better to do leggings because they go further down than greaves. Greaves and high boots is the best combo for legs, but because we uh, we only have the low boots, we're gonna go with leggings. Uh, and then we're gonna take a shield as well. There we go. Okay, it actually doesn't cost that much. It's like 120 points for uh, for a piece of armor. Um, I like to take this for untamed wilds or more difficult areas because we might have like some really angry animal right there in the beginning and uh, this might give us a chance to fight it. Depending on what's there, if, if we have like a some giant animal that immediately uh, rushes us, we might lose the starting seven right, right away. But this gives us uh, at least in theory a fighting chance and I will take like Axe Dwarf as well, who will be my woodcutter, so they will be wearing hopefully this. Although I now actually know why it was not working in wood fight, because the woodcutter does have like civilian uniform, and they are not gonna put the uniform on. So what I think, what I will do this time, I will, I will give the military uniform to uh, another dwarf and not the woodcutter. So we will have the woodcutter with an axe and then we have a military dwarf who's, uh, who's wearing the armor and also has an axe. Uh, with the rest of the points... Rest of the points... Uh, let's, uh, let's take care of the dwarves first. Uh, we're gonna have two or three miners. Hmm... I think I like this time to do like the farmer brewer, farmer brewer, farmer cook combo. And then I, I did like the engraver teacher last time. I'm not sure how much the teacher actually made a difference with the guild, but I did like that. Mm. So let's quickly take a look at the dwarves. Oops, not that. And then I'm gonna have uh, the usual expedition leader, who's also a broker and kind of a standard setup setup really. But let's take a look quickly on these. Uh, dreams of crafting a masterwork. Dreams of raising a family. Uh, if there's two who want to raise a family and they happen to be male and female, I might make them the cook brew cook brew. Uh, Farmer Brewer, Farmer Cook Duo, but let's see. Uh, dreams of raising a family, so we have two males who want to want to raise a family. Uh, right there. Uh, dreams of mastering a skill. These are usually ideal um, ideal miners because they can easily easily achieve that. So I think I will click on that already. Then we have uh, dreams of raising a family, so we have a potential potential couple in there. Thinks uh, the pursuit of skills of warfare and fighting is a low pursuit. This competition is wasteful and silly. Hmm. Okay, this this one might be like really hard working one. So I think uh, I will choose this one to be my planter. Um, blender cook. One, two, three, four, and then uh, we will put one point in armor smith. Uh, either they will help others in the kilt with that, or they will move into armor smith. Uh, just with that one point, because uh, blending and cooking is not a movable skill. And then uh, we have a couple of options here to be kind of, at least in theory, they're, uh, they're uh, ra wants to raise a family partner, so to speak. Uh, okay, this uh, if, if if Odom here, I will nickname this later. If uh, if the farmer here uh, was like super hard working. Uh, this one is like a uh, super laid back, so I don't think they would be that compatible. Let's see about this other one. Um, values loyalty, not much, not much other things there. Uh, 
deeply respects those that work hard at their labors. I think this might be it. Uh, this might be our uh, blender brewer. One, two, three, four. And then for this one, I will give uh, movable skill in uh, in weaponsmith. Actually, no. Let's make them both armorsmiths, and someone else will take care of the weaponsmith. So blender brewer, blender, blender cook. Okay. Yeah, of course, of course, Odom will marry the <laughs> marry the laid back one later. We will see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, two more left. Let's see. Uh, no dream. No dream for this one. Uh, personally, sees no value in holding back complaints. Files pursuit of off putting and doesn't risk. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Finds the pursuit of skill mastery of Putin. Hmm, what would be the best one for someone like this? That's an interesting one. Finds nature somewhat disturbing. Definitely not an herbalist. Oh. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. Dreams of ruling the world, but will not admit it. Yep, probably. Probably. Has a great deal of respect for the law. Greatly prizes loyalty, values family. Believes that honesty is high ideal. Okay, it's interesting that they uh, they find pursuit of skill mastery of putting, but they still deeply respect those that work hard on their labors. Respects fair dealing and fair play. Hmm. This could be an expedition leader. This could be an expedition leader still. Especially... Well, they do have Millstone. Because uh, they might become a Baron later. And I wouldn't mind having a Baron slash Count, Countess and Dutch Duke Duchess who doesn't have any, any demands. But... Uh, we can choose it later as well and not promote the expedition leader. Okay, then the seventh one. Uh, dreams of creating a great work of art. This was the only one of this, so I think this will be our engraver. Finds the pursuit of knowledge to be a waste. Okay, this one is, this one would not be a scholar with the pursuit of knowledge. Um, conceal him uh, refrain from complaining. Okay, interesting. Uh, values martial prowess. Mm, that's the first one I spot of those, so this one could be the soldier as well. Um, okay, let's quickly look at these values. Martial prowess here as well. Dreams of crafting a masterwork. I think this one could be my um, initial carpenter. Carpenter woodcutter. Who also knows how to use an axe. But this is not uh, this is not the military dwarf. This is just an uh, axe dwarf who uh, who likes their uh, likes their uh, wood cutting axe. Values martial prowess. The laid back one. Mm. Leisure time, values, martial prowess. Okay, all these, all these guys are actually, actually okay for that. So, it's, uh, dreams of creating a great work of art. This will be the engraver. You don't, you don't need to look at the preferences. You can just set your initial seven and go with it. It doesn't matter. But I, I like to look at their dream because that's a uh, kind of a little bit of role playing. It will give them a happy thought if they reach that and uh, and all all those things. So I think it's I think it's nice. I will try the teacher, the engraver teacher again, uh, with the engravers guild trying to have some uh, highly skilled engravers quickly. Uh, probably gonna wait for a migrant wave before we before we try that. And then okay, we have the farmer, farmer brewer, farmer cook duo. We have a miner. So that would make one of these guys the military dwarf. 
military dwarf and I think it would be this guy. They both find nature somewhat disturbing. Hmm. Doesn't respect a society that has settled into harmony without debate and strife. That's, uh, I don't know what all these things actually mean. Uh, right, and we do need an expedition leader as well. Hmm. I think I will just make this one this one the appraiser. One, two, three, judge of intent, persuader, negotiator. And I for some reason I almost always make my uh, expedition leader a mechanic. So then this would leave Actually now that I'm going with the farmer farmer setup like this, this is We are not going, we are not starting with the doctor. I think uh, that's something I usually take, but I think this time, this time I won't, because I want this one to be Axe-Dwarf Met, Axe-Dwarf, Axe-Dwarf, um, Weaponsmith. And maybe the miner could have some doctor skills. And then uh, we only have one actual miner, but mining levels up really fast. So I think the Weaponsmith and the Engraver will pick up picks at the beginning. Um, yeah, so let's go with Diagnostician and Surgeon as those are the harder to reach skills. And uh, actually, let's take the mining down a little bit. Let's, uh, let's make this guy the miner, miner doctor. Giving all the, all the medical skills uh, but especially diagnostician and surgeon. And a little bit of mining to speed up the things a little bit in the beginning. Um, as we are not going to do that much stuff on the surface, uh, and I, I haven't done a deep, deep fort in a while, but this uh, my setup here is kind of pretty standard for what I, what I usually do. But then uh, let's go into the important parts. Um, which is the fortress name, and then we decide what we do with the last of the points. Uh, the first random name the game gives me is Whipjoy, which is actually not bad. It's not a bad name completely out of the bat. But I think this should somehow have something about the fact that we are gonna be at the Magma Sea. It's a deep fort, something related to that, so uh, let's see what, uh, what the game game gives us. I don't like this kind of like weird name, it's like Submerged Bolt, that's a, that's a stupid name. The Dwarven name Rulaloth is actually cool, but uh, this, this uh, don't like that so much. Um, loved Tin, okay. Slaughter Mirror. Ivory Town. Hmm. I kind of maybe like the town, so would we go with, like, deep town? I think, I think I will go with deep town. Just want it to be Tholamost. Yeah, I like that. I like Tholamost. Let's go with this. Deep town. Group name. Look at that! Look at that! Completely without even going for another one, our group name is Royal Cave. Boom. Right there. Relonas, yes. Nice. So we are we are the Royal Cave and we are setting up to build Deep Town. Love that. Um, so group simple ten would be Can't say about the cave. Can we? Do we have magma? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think uh, I think big would be that because there's there's not really. Um... There is no. Let me see what's what symbols do we have? Uh, I mean shapes. There's a mountain. There's a big and a mountain. That, that's kind of that's kind of a classic dwarven stuff. But uh, who cares? Let's go with that. Do we have? No, no, we don't have. A, we have a shining sun. Hmm. I guess we could do. You know what? Let's do a a big mountain and a shining sun, and then. The, the pick is. Uh, I, I was hoping that there would just be a. The pick is striking the mountain, but. Uh, um, striking. Uh, the shining sun, I want that to be. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I want uh, I want the sun to be sun to be uh, like falling like it's a sunset. Yeah, let's go with that. There's uh, the sunset and um, sunset, and then the peak is striking down the mountain. Mm. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's the best I got right now. Uh, my my idea with the sun here is that this is the last time we see it. As we as we settle down, settle down to build deep down, this is the last time we see the sun. That was kind of my idea with that. Yeah, I think uh, that's that's fine. The sim the symbol is not that like you you see it in the engravings. You see it in the engravings, and uh, actually, no, wait. It's gonna also, it's gonna also have a name. Um, so it would be, would be the pick. Shining sun is waving goodbye. To, oh, I like that. I will add that. I will, I will totally take that idea. I like it. I like it. We will add dwarves in there. Uh, would the would our symbols name this show this shows up in like when you are picking the when you are making statues or engravings you can pick this name right away uh, a dark pick kind of like that as well the first pick hmm. yeah well we are not the first it doesn't really the grand pick. Hmm. No, the mighty pick. Yes, let's go with that. Ekur tekut. Yes, I will. I will totally do that. Let's add. Let's add dwarf, and we'll change the number here for zero, so that so that it's multiple. And I will actually take the. I will take the sun. Sun is falling away. And then we're gonna do. Did we have waving here? Because I think we, I think we had some. We, we don't have we don't have specifically waving goodbye, but we had something, something similar. I remember. Uh, do we have something like that? The dwarves admiring the sun. No, the dwarves are admiring the mountain. Um, Damn, I, I actually thought that there was there was one. I remembered that there was a kind of kind of saying hello kind of thing. Mm. Sun is withering away. Sun sun, sun looks offended. Um, massacring, laboring, hiding. Wait. Dwarf is hiding the sun. It's creating. I don't know, but that's not that's not fine. Burning. 
Hmm. I think... Hmm. You know what, let's go with, uh, with the mountain is hiding the sun. And then um, the dwarves. Go oh, with dwarves are creeping the mountain. I kind of I don't know this. Uh, uh, no, 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 the mountain, mountain is not creating the dwarves. Well, actually... Hmm. The mountain is creating the dwarves. I actually like... I accidentally made it that way. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I like this. I like this. But uh, let's, uh, let's take the pick. Let's change that element to be the last. So the mountain mountain is hiding the sun, and the mountain is creating the dwarves by like calling them in, and then um, then the big is uh, big is striking. Oh, but we don't want to hit the mountain down, kind of. Mm. So let's uh, let's take the dwarves, and the dwarves are dwarves are raising the big. Let's just do that. Yeah, the mountain mountain takes the sun away, calls the dwarves in, and dwarves accept the call. So uh, let's let's go with that. And the symbol's name is the Might Pick. Yeah, once once again, I used wait way, way too much time on these things that actually matter very little, but I I enjoy that kind of little bit of. A little bit of role play, kind of thinking about why the dwarves are here. So they are they are gonna name it Deep Town. They find this mountain. They they are the royal cave, so they will go and find the find the cavern layers. Uh, start building in there. So kind of uh, I think that's uh, I think that's a good one. Um, okay, one hundred and thirty three points. I think I will just take another another piece of armor. Because I don't really want to think about what I do with those points right now. And actually let's take a, let's take a little bit of extra on these other other seeds. Other seeds while at it. Yeah, I think that's I think that's us. I think that's us. You know what? Let's uh, let's swap those to more beer. Yeah, let's go with thirty-one. Oh, those those cost two points. Okay, well that's fine. But let's change those into beer and rum because those will be a little bit rare. Yeah, there we go. Let's go with that. That is pretty pretty standard setup with that armor. A little bit of an exception. That's kind of the just in case kind of also showing that's actually quite easy to get that not power playing with anything taking like bitterness goal actually do we have that in our civilization we do even that uh Ireland's have it in the uh, in wood fights hmm, interesting not taking any uh any iron ore stone that's we gonna uh, but a little bit playing with taking the mocks taking the armor and kind of a uh, kind of a uh, uh, let's call this standard with armor. As my profile, just in case I want to use that use that later. Okay, good. Let's embark and see see what kind of area we will establish deep down in. Well, actually, the service will not matter that much for uh, for the eventual fort, but. Uh, Let's uh, let's see. This is taking surprisingly long time. Hope the game didn't crash or anything. This has gone quite fast in the in the previous ones, but let's see. Repair. Uh, 
Where in the map? Hmm. I threw them. How are you doing? Yeah, this is taking too long. <laughs> this is taking too much time. Mm. This is scaring me a little bit. You had two crashes when starting new fort in an existing world today. Hmm. Okay, I will I will give myself a cut here that I might edit out if I remember. And uh, yeah, let's let's see let's see if this wakes up. This has been nearly instant previously. I don't think it's I don't think it's responding. Yeah, I think I think that's crash. Well, that sucks balls. <laughs> after after spending that much time on setting up the name, the symbol. Why? Why did you do this? I'm I'm trying to, but it actually it's not letting me letting me go past the window even. Yeah, uh, like my initial thought like it's okay, it's crash. We'll just do this again. But then I just realized I was looking carefully on those dwarves. We will not get the same seven again, because the game game doesn't save here yet. It saves when we get to the map. Well, this kind of <laughs> this kind of losing is not fun. Oh, this, this, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, it's, it's not, yeah, it's... It is, it is dead. Wow. Wow. I did save the profile, but uh, kind of, uh, it, it's only, it doesn't save the fortress name. It does set up the dwarves, but they, uh, their dwarves might be different. Wow. I think uh, they they did launch like very quick fix after the 50.0 because the embark was like uh, there was a fa fatal flaw in it. I'm just gonna see that we uh, we don't have anything here. Yep. Yep, yep. So I think uh, I think this version has actually broken something. Okay, but uh, this this setup should go. This setup should go should go faster. Is it normal if you have an erupting volcano that your world starts bleeding water? Erupting volcano usually happens if you reclaim your own old site or you claim a site that has a volcano. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a bug with the magma surface and it's actually kind of erupting. But then, uh, if you have if you have blood raining from the sky, then you are in the haunted environment. So that's kind of a that's kind of an interesting question because there's a lot of things there that are actually possible. Your world just flooded? Are oh, you mean your map or the world? Like literally the world? Uh, okay, well, we set up in there. Uh, oh no, wait! I don't need to remember to choose. Wait, but this uh, this went a little bit differently as well. This was 3600, this was 1200 if I recall, and we had 11 sites. Yeah, they, they took one more down here in the previous two weeks that we passed time on.
Okay, anyway, but virtuous virtuous seals is the one we we go with. Go in here. Uh, hopefully, it's not the location that's causing the causing the trouble. So we settle down in here. Uh, standard with armor. And I said these guys, these guys are now different. And uh, dreams of crafting a masterwork is actually the same. Wait, did we get the same one? No. But, uh, but the values values are the same. Okay, there we go. That's a different. That's a different one. Uh, dreams of crafting. Yeah, these are totally different. Never mind. Just the first one's a little bit. Dream, dreams of mastering a skill. Mm. Oh man, I I don't I don't want to do this again. So I will just go with the profile and yeah. Dreams of mastering a skill. Okay, so my my original setup of a farmer, a couple who want to raise a family, uh, is not really happening there unless I change this one. Mm. Of mastering a skill, and and again, like this this might actually this might actually uh, fail as well, but I will I will do it anyway. So this is the this is the brewer. No, this is the cook. So you will be the cook instead. Cookerino, one, two, three, four. Planter, and then uh, one armor smith. And then you will be the engraver instead. Engraver teacher, and that's it. No other changes because I, as I said, this might this might crash again. Uh, these are the same. Animals are the same. Oh, I didn't mean to take Bobby. Good thing I came to check here. Uh, dog and dogs. There we go. Same cost, interestingly. Uh, one male, two females. Same same thing there. Uh, yeah, this one. This one did not stay the same, so we are gonna do deep. Down. Tholamost. We're gonna do. What's the Royal Cave? Yes! Royal. There's a Royal Cavern as well. You know what? I will change that into Royal. Royal Cavern. Hey! Hey, Shark! Thank you so much for the resub! Just man. Yeah, I will change it into Royal Cavern. Uh, and then... Oh man. This took a... This took such a, such a nice amount of, uh, of time. So let's go with the mighty... Mighty pick. Uh, creature. Dwarf. Please don't, please don't crash game after this. If the game crashes after this, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know. I will at least take a break. Um, wait, object, epic. We go with picks this time when I'm adjusting this. Uh, object. No shape. Mountain. Sun. There's a blazing sun and a shining sun. We we were in a like tropical place. Let's let's change that into a blazing sun. And then the mountain is hiding the blazing sun. No, oh, I picked the wrong one. Wrong one again. Wrong order. Uh, is hiding. So the mountain is hiding the blazing sun. The mountain is greeting the dwarves. The dwarves are raising their picks. Can I? I'm like I. 
think about that when you when you select the first one, the pigs are tracing the dwarves. No, no, that's that's not what we go. When when I click this, I'm already thinking that I have the X selected already. I don't know why. Uh, so raising the dwarves are raising the pigs. That's a little bit better. Uh, so, so again, the idea is that the mountain mountain is hiding the sun that the dwarves will see for the last time. It's calling for the dwarves, and uh, dwarves accept the call, and they set out to build deep town. And uh, please game, please game, please let me ground crash. I I have to choose another location if this crashes again. This time, this time it was it was immediate crash. <laughs> didn't even didn't even hang this time. <laughs> oh brother, okay, different location then. Oh man, come on, game. Come on. No, no, no. If if I can't get a if I can't get one going with the with this world, we will not do anything. This is the whole idea, that we are building into the same world, into the same civilization. So that's that's not an option. If this doesn't happen now, then uh, then I will literally have to like wait for wait for a uh, fix. But uh, I think it might be the location or something. I don't know. You will not settle here, the dwarf. Yeah, the, the mountain was not welcoming. The mountain was not welcoming, that's for sure. Uh, this time they only have 1,000. This is just getting worse. They were 1,211 sites. This keeps going down with 101 sites per per try. Come on. So, in case you are joining the stream now, the game has now crashed twice on Embark. Like before we actually Embark, immediately when I click the Embark button. Uh, it has crashed. It's probably 900 now with 8 sites. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> that is not real! What the hell? What is happening? This has to be... This, this is random! This is like taking the same save and then randomly generating the next two weeks. And these guys keep losing. What? 33 sites here. Oh, this is... Now this is science. This is fun. But we are taking... We are always taking the same save. And then the game runs for two weeks. Wow, what is this? What is this? Why is it, why is it doing this? Is it ac is it is it accidentally? Is it accidentally, uh... Is it accidentally, like... Is it like, um... What's the... Is it compounding effects? Is it actually doing these two weeks? Like, not taking the original... Original spot, but instead... Kind of... This is weird. So now that I think about it, that was that that's why I was so surprised about it, because we, we didn't have those sites down south. Okay, now it's kind of going back. But we we didn't have these in the south. That is that is interesting how how much can happen in like two weeks. The I if I if I would have loaded into the previous world like 500 and f 530 and three sites, I would have been like completely fine and seeing okay that's the that's the that's where we left off. But then when the game gave me like the option that uh, hey maybe the the dwarves already started their war down south, 
I kind of uh, now now I somehow can't let go of that. Uh, RNG cheese is helping us, or oh, RNG jurist. If this is now not completely catastrophic, we will be fine with this. Yeah, this is fine. Let's just, let's just stick with this. They have some sites in the south, and at least we didn't lose the ones up north. So let's go with this. They they have some some going on. Oh, not that. So let's just go with this. 1008. It was 1211, but uh, we are fine with that. Okay, where's your seals? Um... Not gonna pick that exactly same location, but I do want to do want to have a mountain. Uh, not that one. Uh, okay, dwarf fortress. What the fuck? Uh, okay, what has happened? Is this is this ver is this version like completely broken? Is 5007 like completely broken? I even I even did a fresh install as I did as I had a as I had DF hack. I took it out. I took DF hack out and uh, did a fresh install with the new version. What the fuck? Come on. Now it now it crashed when I was zooming in. Uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna take backups of my saves right now. Uh, I think I did that already, but let's do it anyway. But uh, I'm, I'm still thinking that it's, uh, there's something there's something with this version why why they did. Uh... Okay, now we are now, now we are back with uh, with kind of the what we what we had in the beginning. So we have the. We have ten sites, ten sites, those ones in there. So it's kind of the numbers, and but this this is not really the this is not now this is not the big deal. Now I now I just want the game to work. So now we are gonna go down here. The game didn't crash this time. I'm gonna choose a different location, but kind of nearby. I think maybe I'll go here a little bit more on the because I I do like this I do like this place otherwise. With the hot and the sparse and uh, an untamed wild, so let's take embark. Free by free again. Let's go here instead. Uh, wait, this was uh, no aquifer. Yeah, it's good. Come on, work, please. Don't crash. It's taking ages again. This has never taken ages. I don't think it's happening today. Fuck's sake. If this was my first fort, I, I was just starting a new fort. This would be fine. I would just generate a new world. And okay, there's something wrong with this world. I'll just generate a new one. We have already already built two forts into this one, and now it's not letting me start a new one. The whole whole idea for this. Okay, okay. Maybe I actually, maybe I actually should have let, should have just waited in the first time. This 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 mountain race is just super fucking weird. Uh, this this is looking pretty interesting. First layer. This is probably the reason why it crashed. 
I I can't imp I I see like the C level C level like 2000 or something. Uh yeah, we can't embark here. <laughs> okay, I, I, well, at least the game is trying to save, but uh yeah, no, this is and why why is it showing the engraver immediately? Like what are, what are, what are you doing, game? Oh oh ah ah! It's alive! It's alive! Uh. Why are you? Why are we embark at the edge of the map? What the hell is this? <laughs> okay. Elevation. <laughs> Elevation five eight forty five. Okay. I okay. We are. I'm. I'm obviously going back to my just backed up save. And not going with this, but I wonder what the hell will happen when I unpause. So yeah, I'm I'm going down ten levels at the time. There's five, five thousand. My my machine will explode. There's fifty five hundred levels here. With some uh, <laughs> with some diamond cluster things right there. My my machine will die when I unpause. All these all these magma is like in the up in the air. Uh, we are now two thousand two thousand levels deep. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, little bit of little bit of problems with. Uh, Little bit of problem with uh, with the embark. Oh, I still had that. Still had that notification. Oh, cards is here, in theory. Uh, just a uh, just a second. <laughs> okay, today today is an interesting day. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, no wonder it crashed. So basically, that mountain range is completely, completely effed up. Uh, do we actually have the? I, I think we are gonna get demons here. And yeah, this is this is where my cart is, because uh, this was the only valid spot that they found at the edge of the map. The, the game game shouldn't like obviously shouldn't do this. Do we? Do we have the wagon here somehow? Because the we couldn't find, uh, we couldn't find like uh, like space. How it, oh it goes even. Oh look at this! <laughs> I've I've seen I've seen someone posting posting these in the Reddit. So so we have the spoilers immediately here at the top of the world. Uh, but where's my wagon? And why why didn't we embark up there? Uh, okay, let's let's see if my let's see if my uh, machine melts when I when I unpause. Yeah, I tried to unpause. Ah, uh, yet. Yeah, I already saw someone, I think someone already died. 
<laughs> Treasure of the cards. The hell is open. Oh, we checked that to stone for heat. What devil is that? The demons are here. <laughs> Upside down mountain. What the hell? Yeah, I, I bet someone has collapsed in the world in the service. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the, yeah, this. Uh, okay, this is the this is the weirdest glitch. Uh, my it, the game immediately hangs when I when I unpause because the magma is going down. Okay, yeah, it it crashed. Yeah, it it couldn't handle that. Like six six thousand levels of magma uh, dropping down and trying to do calculations. <laughs> FPS one. <laughs> uh, let me let me see how how my computer is doing. Uh, see, not that, that, uh, okay, it's not that bad yet. I, I don't see actually, okay, it's, it's trying to, it's trying to compute something. Okay. It's only taking like four gigabytes of memory at the moment. CPU five percent. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like uh, this. This is obviously a big glitch. Like the. Uh, how Dwarf Fortress works is that um, when you enter a local map, like this 3x3 embark, that's when the game generates this 3x3 area. And uh, obviously something something goes like really wrong with this mountain range here. So I think it might be the mountain that is the problem. Uh... Yeah, it's, okay. it's like it's like zero point one FPS or something, and I can't. The game is very unresponsive. I can't can't really uh can't really do anything at the moment. Uh, I'm I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure the f the first time I clicked embark when it's hang. It was actually not hanging. It was actually not hanging. It was um yeah, I will I will have to kill the kill the program. Um I think it was actually not crashed yet. It was trying to get into similar world as this. Uh okay. But it did somehow it was somehow able to save in that in the that world, I think. Uh, just a second. It's a good thing I took the backup. Like completely in this one. So I will I will do the same thing. Same thing we did here before. That was my first selection. We do that. Uh, we take my embark and uh, I change the dogs because I messed those up. Yeah, I'm. I'm already pretty sure we have the same problem because it's taking such a long time. So my my. Thought of this is that the, that like that mountain range is bugged, at least. But now it will be interesting. Like if I interesting when I pick up something else. I'm pretty sure if I now wait here long enough, like even that game. This is what's happened in all those times. In that one one attempt, it it uh, it crashed immediately. 
And uh, then uh, when I just gave it gave it time, it's eventually popped up into that 10,000 Z level world. And I think that's happening if I just let it run. But then uh, what will be interesting is that uh, it's like the whole world like this now, because then then that's yeah. Yeah, here we go again. Same same thing. Same thing. So it's basically it's um like when I'm when I'm pressing the embark on the world map, uh everything is okay from game's perspective. Uh when I when I click the embark from the embark screen, the game starts to generate this map. And for some reason, it completely screws up. At least on this mountain range. But now, now I will I will not even when the when the game saves here. I will repeat what I just did, but I will embark elsewhere. This was just uh, this is what you do when you are testing something. You repeat the steps, and. Uh, to me, this is now uh, repeatable, so I can file this file this in the bug reports. And because I have this, I have the save before the retirement. I have the save after the re retirement, and I have the failed save here. They should be able to investigate what's uh, what's going wrong. Just in case someone else hasn't already sent this in. Uh, because obviously because the game crashed it's actually really hard to get to this screen and get this save through well maybe i said it too early but <laughs> the game is game is eating now like 8 gigabytes 8 gigabytes of in so if i if i would unpause oh we have a wagon <laughs> this time we have a wagon <laughs> if i so the only only valid spot for the wagon is at the edge of the map <laughs> I don't know why. So if I would unpause, uh, the game would unleash hell on me, because there's uh, if we go all the way up on the top, we have the this. Okay, spoilers. We have the we have the new hidden fun stuff here, totally exposed at the top of the world. Um, so it's kind of uh, it's the world is upside down and has has like fifty times more layers than usually. And this, okay, this does this goes even longer than last time. Uh, oops, not squad's window. <laughs> we, we, we are not gonna do that. Okay, this goes even this goes even higher. What the hell? It generates like ten thousand. What? Last time, last time it, it, it stopped in the. Oh, there it is. There's the stop. Ten thousand six hundred and fifty-two, and nothing, nothing up on top, and then. Uh, our uh, dwarves are in 7000 and if i unpause all this magma would flow and it crashes the game so i can't do that and i won't this time uh i'm scrolling down like 10 levels at the time yeah it's like a, there's this kind of weird uh these are these are the embark screens we see that because three by three is uh nine we have the embark Embark areas here in the south, and they shouldn't be squares like this. Oh well, they are squares like this, but they shouldn't like show up on the map squares like that. Uh, yeah, Homeric, we are we are battling with dwarf fortress, really, really bugging out. So we it 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 generates us a map with uh, like completely messed up, upside down, ten thousand levels. I'm. It really takes me like minutes to get to the bottom. Can I? Can I even? Can I press this? Oh, at the bottom. <laughs> at the bottom of the world, there's. A why didn't? Why didn't you put the wagon in here? So at the bottom of the world, there's kind of a normal, normal area. Okay, so this this shows that it's kind of it messes up in the it messes up in this corner, for this world. So if I embark one tile to the left, it might actually work. One tile left, one up. Yeah, here's here's the here's the actual like uh, taking taking these three tiles out in the map like here. Uh, these uh, the the six six remaining ones are normal. 
and that shouldn't be that this shouldn't be the mountain this is the the mountain mountain should be here yeah this is this is normal but uh, but this uh, but uh, why why it doesn't place me here I don't understand it should you should always embark in the center Yes, I, uh, I, I took a but I took, I took shift. Okay, it's the depth is normal. The depth is normal, and uh, this, uh, this is normal. But then uh, the surface. Okay, it, it counts this as surface as well. But then we are seven thousand, <laughs> seven thousand levels up. <laughs> so this is kind of sad, sad but fun at the same time. Okay, but that's uh, that's it for that test. Um, now we gonna can I restart that? Oh, I can do it again. Okay, I don't have to. Okay, I will just no wait. I I want to quit out. I want to quit out. I want. I need to take that save. That save out as well. Hopefully, hopefully this somehow works. Oh, this is pissing me off so much. This is like two, 200 plus hours into this world that I wanted to, wanted to build everything into. Yeah, let's try com something completely different, just on, just on like this side. Somewhere. Uh, wait, light aquifer. Yeah, whatever. Okay, it's that corner of the world that is broken. This is very, very relieving news. Uh oh why 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 do I I was I was I was letting myself sink into a pretty deep pretty deep hole there. Okay. So the game game works but that's that's corner of the world is for some reason completely messed up. Okay. So that's good to know. Oh fuck it. Okay, light aquifer it is. Uh, fine. If this works, we will go with this. We'll go with this. <laughs> I really, I really don't want. Uh, the the problem is I I don't I don't like any of these areas here. I'm just testing them. That's if it that if it works. Like that was my that was my. I really wanted to build on next to the mountain, but that uh, that seems to be seems to be a problem. Now. Okay, I will I will just see if this if this works, and this will be kind of this will be kind of fine. But yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with this, and uh, if it works, we'll uh, we'll do it. And uh, magma. Oh wait, this looks this looks somewhat normal. What the hell? I I'm. That took such a long time that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play this map. Something is wrong with this. I uh, but at this time we might be able to unpause. This this looks normal from here, but I think the corner of the map is like ten thousand high or something. At least it found a position for my dwarves and a position for the wagon. We were at the edge of the map like in some eight thousand elevation or something. And also the, the the fact that it takes long time for it to save, that's uh that happens a lot when you build new fortresses into your forts because kind of there's more more things that you have done, so kind of uh the world saving takes uh, longer the longer you play and the, also the larger your world is, but it doesn't actually affect that much of the speed of the speed of the game because everything kind of happens 
events locally, although large large world size, I mean, might affect it a little bit, but it mostly affects the save speed. But here to okay, this is now this is now taking it's like super long time. Um, but uh, saving takes a long time as we have already built 35 years into this world. Okay, now now it's kind of uh, it successful successfully came in here, but man, that took a long time. Okay, so this this might be it. This might be it. I don't know if you are watching this on a later date how much of that you saw. But the game completely re refused to give me a legal embark and crashed the game like 10 times. It's been... It's been two hours as I've been trying to embark and I'm, I'm very down from all of this. So even if this works I will take a break and we will continue, continue later. But uh, we are building, or our aim is to build the second fortress for this civilization by us. Uh, deep down, because we plan to go down into the magma sea. But I'm, I'm quite confident this map is not okay. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, it's not. Look at this. Look at this, the cavern, cavern is in the sky. For fuck's sake, game. <laughs> well, this time the hell is not there, but one cavern layer is. What the hell? Well, there's the obsidian things. Uh, okay, so... So wait, are, are, these, are these being held, held up in the sky by... These trees. So everything is everything is normal until here. Oops. Everything is normal where I was. Like ima imagine if I'm a new player. Uh, assuming that this could happen or fresh, but imagine I'm a new player. Like I come here. Mm, okay, let's do the usual things. Like set no units. Okay. Everything is fine. Like let's set the let's set the labors. Like we don't we don't want to hunt in the beginning. Let's not let's not fish. Let's let's do the, all the right things. Let's set up that no, we are not gonna collect webs. Uh, we will uh, we will actually forbid everything. Forbid everything here. Let's do the right things that we do. We want farmers to harvest. Uh, we will set the kids later. And then we unpause the game. And then like the whole sky falls on us. <laughs> like like no, no, this is okay, this is this is the okay I, maybe I you know no the game game will crash again. Actually these these might hang up in the air. They are held by the trees, but what uh, what will happen to this water? Like what will what will happen to this water that is up in the air? So yeah, Dwarf Fortress is giving us faulty maps. Today has been an interesting day. Two and a half hours of trying to embark. Uh, I will unpause the game and let's let's see if the world falls on us. Uh, I unpaused or tried to. <laughs> Something has collapsed in the surface, maybe? Sounded like it. <laughs> Look at this, the whole, whole cavern fell. <laughs> two, two dwarves dead. <laughs> There's a forgotten... No, no, no. There's a treasure of the gods. Is there is there hell as well? <laughs> like, bugs and glitches, but this is, this is pretty hilarious. Okay, a couple of dwarves are dead. Um... So the whole cavern layer fell. There's the obsidian pillar. <laughs> FPS is at two. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I have to I have to try to laugh about this because this is hilarious, but I'm I'm actually quite pissed because I'm this I'm wasting my time in here now. Kind of uh, trying to trying to get a continue Oh the free dwarves died. Uh I might actually die. Everyone might die here. That would be interesting. Well we did have the whole whole sky fall on us, literally. <laughs> Uh, I see. I see some blood and dwarves unconscious, and uh, uh, yeah, there's the there's the water gushing down from the. Can I can I can I try to pause the game? Oh, you let me pause. Thank you. <laughs> so the so the sky just fell. Sky just fell, and is it like partially still up here? No, it's all fell. No, it's it's still coming down. So this uh this time the game didn't generate this time the game didn't generate like the hell upside down but it like generated one of the cavern layers and the world is only 36 elevation kind of everything is kind of normal but the only thing is that one of the caverns is in the sky now the fps i paused the game that's why the fps bounced back um so there was uh, this water layer from the cavern. This this water is gushing down, and then I think my dwarves were crushed by the. My dwarves were crushed by the. Yeah, they are all unconscious. We might actually lose everyone here. Pretty sure. Uh, no. Yeah, so basically, in an instant, like the whole world fell on the sun, this dwarf. They died. So we, we don't have we don't have any conscious dwarves, I'm pretty sure. Maybe these ones. Uh but yeah, um obviously glitched. Glitched. Now now that I see this uh No but actually when we when we did the successful embark in the southeast it it did happen fast, so it it's kind of a if hitting the embark button takes like ages, then we know that something is wrong, right? Let's change the plan and uh, if it if it works down south, if it works down south, I will this fort will instead be the kind of the will be the fortress I was thinking of building after this location wise <laughs> if DF is fucked Semalf might pay papers please it's almost the same type of game <laughs> right now right now papers please would be like calming my nerves compared to compared to this uh Compared to this, okay. So I think we will do this uh, freezing, freezing uh, tantra, tantra rocky wasteland thing instead of uh, actually. Hmm, maybe we'll just do the rocky wasteland. Yeah, I think uh, I think I will try that. And then if that works, we'll go to war against these goblins instead. I kinda I kinda like this Tantra here. Tantra here, but then uh I I don't think I have ever played on a rocky wasteland, so I kinda want to see what that is. Badlands is actually pretty cool as cool as well. And it's only cold. Hmm. Hmm. There's a heavy aquifer though. So. Is there a place without aquifer here? Uh, I don't know about the mountain. So, wait, what is the... This time it's 950 and 8. So it seems that still our our, our civilization is bouncing back. It's just, uh, it's been something between 550 and 1200, depending on the randomness, since the retirement. In just a couple of weeks. So we'll... Our original idea was to continue the war on these goblins up north. 
with uh, with the wood fight, our fortress and the two sides we we conquered. Uh, we would kind of the plan was to join them and continue killing these goblins in addition to whatever. But the game is completely messing up the embark. It's not generating valid embarks here in the northwest. It seems at least around this mountainous area. I think I was able to get a successful embark map when I embarked here. But uh, so we will, because it seems that it's not working, we will abandon that plan and make a fortress down here instead. And uh, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, like this, uh, this glacier could be kind of cool as well, even Arctic Ocean. But I think that that will be a different time. I want to do that because in this one. This one we are going deep. We are going straight to the magma sea if possible. Uh, so I think I will take this rocky wasteland. And also I'm thinking that should I... Is it possible that my embark size is causing some trouble for the generation? No, but we had 3 by 3 on wood fight as well. It was fine. Fine. Uh, there is a, that is a volcano right there. So volcanoes are visible depending a bit on your world. Uh, so these, these, uh, orange yellows are human villages, but yeah, that's the, that's the only visible volcano that we have here. Uh, so we, we know from the map that it's there, but then uh, we have to look at the elevation to know that uh, to, uh, it's right there. So if we, if we would embark here, uh, we would get a volcano. Like, well, it's actually showing it on the embark screen. Uh, let me see. Actually, where the hell is the volcano? I thought it would be... Because it should show it the same way it's showing rivers, but I can't, can't find it now. Oh. Hmm, it is showing, <laughs> it's, the, it's called the Puff Hill, <laughs> Volcano of Scum. <laughs> I love these random names. <laughs> okay, but I, I can't find it here on the, the local map. Uh, where the hell is the volcano? So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's up right there where it's the highest, but that's just my guess. But it's not showing the volcano here on the top right. It's like actually in here, stream. And it, I think it should show up on this map as well. Well, anyway, we are not embarking on a, on a volcano, but now that you mentioned it, I uh, wanted to check. Uh, but yes, I think the I think the rocky wasteland, rocky wasteland is my place to go. We have uh, we have copper, zinc, iron, uh, freezing temperatures. So let's pick. Uh, Pick that one. And kind of my idea with the stream is that we would have one side of the map kind of blocked off. Uh, blocked off by uh, if something comes from that side, they uh, they couldn't attack us. Uh, we do have humans and goblins, so that's kind of good as well. Yeah, let's uh, let's try that one. All right, this did have the aquifer. That's why I was going away from this. Um, okay, you know what? Let's. Uh, so I've been doing aquifers on the first, on the previous three fortresses. I would really like this one not to have one. So uh, let's just take uh, areas where there's no aquifer. I kind of like that as well, like straight in the middle of them. 
That looks good. We could go with the Tundra Glacier then. Okay, and yeah, I'm, uh, I'm repeating myself here a little bit because I don't know how I will edit this. But uh, game game has denied me. Game has denied me embarking into the into the northwest where I would like to embark. Uh, we have been trying for two hours, uh, testing different things, and the game generates a bad local map. Like 10,000 elevation, the hill is in the sky. Last map had like the one cavern layer up in the sky and it came falling down. So some something faulty with the map generation, at least here. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure that it will be okay down here in the south. But at least it seemed that one test embark in this area was okay. But uh, I'm I'm not sure. Something, hopefully, something is not messed up with the whole local map generation. That it's just up there now for some reason. Uh, hopefully it's that. But uh, but uh, yeah, that's why I'm now embarking here in the south instead of what I was talking about in the beginning. And also, I, I really want to continue with this world, because my whole idea is to rebuild this one dwarven civilization. We have a couple of forts here built already. One other one and one for this civilization. Uh, so kind of the continuation is has been my whole plan. And this has been very, very uh, demoralizing, because I... I keep kind of getting hit in the face, thinking that this world is gone, and the 200 hours I've put into this world, I could con I could not continue with, instead of st start from the scratch with something completely different. So do forgive me if uh, if I feel a little bit like a, a little bit down, but I'm trying to trying to get this at least generated in a way that I could build the forts, and then I could take the break, take a little bit of a breather, and see if I can. If I can actually play today. Uh, but yeah, this was not my original plan to go in the glacier. It seems like the game is kind of giving me that. We could do like mountain tundra. In the middle of the goblins. It's not the worst idea. It's not the worst idea. Oh, uh -huh. now that I think about it, I kind of like it. Uh, where were... So we are kind of in the middle of this, so it would make sense for me to kind of set up a... Set up a fort somewhere in here. Like right, right next to Goblins. Uh... Kind of like this, right in the right in the middle of them. And we could start uh, eventually destroying them or something. Uh, we have Fluxstone on the Tundra side, so this could work as well. Maybe we would have aggressively gone through the mountain and take this side instead. Uh, it is freezing. The Royal Blizzards, the Still Axe. I. I like I like this name. I like this mountain range name here. Let's go with this if this would work. Okay, it's actually it is actually giving me uh, okay, it's a crazy crazy elevation area. Oh right, I was I was not looking at the glyphs before. You know what? Wait a minute. I I have to I have to go up and here, see if this whole whole place is messed up. With glyphs, no, these these look normal. I think it happens in the local map, local map generation. Um. Okay, but yeah, I kind of like this area here. Yeah, I think I will go with that. So free by free, let's take the mounds and uh, iron, silver, lead, flux. Okay, that's fine. 
It's not the things I had in mind originally, but uh, let's embark there. And let's see how that was. I I was using in the beginning like a lot of lot of time setting up the what I think was good for the dwarves, depending on their personality. Uh, but uh, now I'm just checking. That's kind of do they happen to be okay? This one is a raising a family, so that that is this time. This time uh, matching also values romance. Uh, dreams of mastering, mastering <laughs> dreams of crafting a masterwork. I can't even talk anymore. Uh, mastering a skill. Okay, this this might be destiny right now. Dreams of creating a great work of art. Well, almost, almost destiny. That is fine. Crafting a masterwork. Okay, that's fine. Values honesty, values sacrifice, and doesn't really value merrymaking. Hmm. I think that will be fine. Okay, but I this is still the same profile I saved in the beginning. But just in case, once again, if if this still if this this time works, we will be building deep down. We will be going straight down. After the initial setup, and build the fortress in the magma sea, and the third cavern layer, and our group name is the Royal Cave. And this time I will do the group symbol again. Oops, symbol again, assuming that this embark would actually work. So, do the mighty, mighty pick, and this has, this has a dwarfs, as a pick, it has a mountain. And it has a sun. But this time it's not really blazing because we are behind the freezing. Freezing place in the mountain. Mountain is hiding the sun from the dwarves. Pressing again the wrong thing. Uh, for some reason that's messed up in my in my brain. Uh, the mountain is mountain is hiding the sun from the dwarves. Uh, it is greeting the dwarves. It is calling, calling them in, and the dwarves accept the call. Call and they uh, they go deep. So dwarves is the big. That is the that is the mighty big the symbol. And now, let's hope that it's nearly instant after I press the embark. Okay, that wasn't nearly instant. I don't know why this is visible here. There's some weird, some weird glitch happening that this is showing immediately. But the fact that the map generation was instant gives me hope that this might actually work now. Ooh, okay. New chapter of Dwarven history begins here. Tholamos, the deep town. Um. It is actually not spring yet, because it's late winter. So they have arrived here in the tundra. In the tundra, in the end of winter. They are probably cold, they are freezing. And they really need to get into the, into the warmth of the mountain, which is down here. So this looks like everything is now fine. So at least I will attempt the attempt to, attempt to play this. Attempt to play this. So the, but I will I will take my break here, and then kind of do the. Well, actually, let's let's first. Maybe, maybe this works. Let's do a save, and I will I will unpause. I will unpause for just a second to see that uh, 
game doesn't like crash immediately. And yeah, we will we will check the sky as well. We are in the elevation 49 because we are in the mountain side, so that's kind of good. But yeah, good good point. I the I'm thinking it's safe because the world uh, yeah it's 70 70 high and we start in 49, so that seems normal. Uh, yeah, this seems good. Nothing odd. As the game, as the, as it was instant, that gave me the idea that everything is fine there. We can't really see what is ro if there's something wrong down below, but uh, amount of sea levels is normal. I think uh, I think it's a uh, I think it's a win. I think it's a win. Okay, and pause. And pause, and the FPS stayed up game state responsive, so I think it's fine. I think we are alright. I think we are okay. Ooh. Yeah, that was literally, literally two and a half hours. Two and a half hours of, uh, of messed up, messed up world gen, not world generation, map generation. I, as I said, I see seen people post information like that in Reddit that uh, the map generation fails. You get that 10,000 10, high world with the hell up in the sky and uh, immediately the demons come when you unpause the game. But uh, that looks good now. So I think we can actually build. Build and start the deep town. But I will I will start that after the break. I I need a breather. I need a breather and uh, but yeah I I really I want to get this started started today. So I think I will be fine when uh, when I when I uh, sip some more tea or make myself some more tea. And uh, yeah, but that was uh, that was putting me down because I thought that the world was completely gone and that was not a, that was not a fun thought. As I as I had plans for this, but looks like we can now do it. So let's take a break, and I'll be uh, I'll be back in uh, in a moment, and let's see uh, let's see how deep down deep down starts to uh, starts to form. See you guys in uh, in a moment. 